everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I just want to start this video by saying YouTube is amazing and having found this platform and somehow managing to build an audience on it, I don't even know how that happened because I'm such a weirdo. Um, it's been such a blessing and so I don't want this to come across as like, you know, me being rude and snarky and all that stuff. It's just a fun little tag, like everything that I love, like every person that I love, every, you know, anything that I love, YouTube has both dark and light sides. So today I'm going to be focusing on the dark sides of YouTube and hopefully this is kind of funny and, you know, resonates with some of you guys. I think I really like this tag because um, unlike some of the other YouTube focused tags, this one I think is relatable even to people who don't have channels. So it's not just for creators. I think people who watch a lot of YouTube videos will totally understand what I mean by a lot of these things. So that is what this is about and I hope you guys enjoy. It's called the 10 things I hate about YouTube tag. I'll tag some of you down below as well. So the first thing that I hate about YouTube is sub for sub. I don't even need to go into this. I just think it's like the dumbest thing ever and even from a business perspective and like a logical perspective, it doesn't make any kind of sense. Like, you don't want people to subscribe to you because they feel pressured to or whatever because they're not going to watch your videos, they're not going to contribute to, you know, anything that, you know, anything really at all, except for one, a little number, which numbers really don't mean a ton, um, especially subscriber count. Subscriber count is like the least important metric on YouTube. So, and then like going along with that, buying subscribers is becoming a thing now too, or I'm sure it's always been a thing, but yeah, like just like buying and bribing your subscribers with giveaways and stuff like that. Like, I just hate that. Like, don't focus so much on the numbers. And like, I say that all the time. And then at the same time, I'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm almost at 4,000 or whatever. You know, I think it's okay to be excited about genuine growth like that. Because over the years, I think it's a cool thing that 4,000 people cared about me enough to hit the subscribe button. But like, I don't focus on it. And I would never bribe for it. I would never beg for it. You know what I mean? Um, number two is copycats and just like phony people and unoriginal ideas. Like we all do copying to an extent, like getting inspiration from one another. And that's something that I love about this community. Even something like this that I'm doing today is a tag video. Like clearly I saw this in somebody else's channel and was like, oh, this would be something cool to bring onto my channel. You know, I didn't write these questions myself, but there's a line between like taking inspiration from or doing something like a tag and you know totally like ripping somebody off and even down to like personality you know you see these people nowadays who try to be like super eccentric like bunny like graveyard girl or you know super like scandalous like trisha paytas and it's like i'm not saying that they're not being genuine but sometimes it feels like these people are playing a character to an extent so you know just be yourself and like come up with your new ideas like i don't want to watch 10 zillion of the same videos number three are popularity contests and egos and just like the whole like nasty um you know personalities that come on youtube sometimes i've noticed a lot of the popularity thing recently just because of certain circles that I've kind of like gotten involved with and tried to distance myself from now because, you know, you just see people like sucking up to these bigger YouTubers and like befriending them. And there's nothing wrong with befriending people. There's nothing wrong with like um, commenting on people's videos, obviously, you know, but like you see like some things that are, I'm not even gonna give examples because I don't want anyone to be like, oh, she's talking about me, you know, um, but you just see things sometimes that just seems so fake and so like, just clingy, like get your own success, don't whatever. And then at the same time, not just like the clingers that annoy me, but like the bigger YouTubers who be, buy into that and like support that kind of annoy me too, because it's like, I don't know. It's like, first of all, you know that you're being taken advantage of. And second of all, like, why are you supporting that kind of behavior? You know what, you know what I mean? So I don't know, that stuff kind of annoys me. Number four, uh, materialism. Now I know that like that sounds kind of ironic coming from a beauty and fashion channel. Like I have so much makeup and so much clothes, but I think that's where this is coming from. I feel like YouTube really encourages people to be hoarders. Like even people who weren't hoarders to begin with, like I really actually, yeah, I've always kind of been a hoarder. I'm not going to lie, but like, okay, I was watching a vlog earlier. And this girl, she's like, I'm going into the store for like um, milk or something like that. She's like, oh, just kidding. She comes back and she's like, I got this whole big bag of groceries. And it's like just little things like that you start to pick up on. And same thing with like the drugstore. Oh, I'm going to go run in to buy like cotton rounds. And then they come up with like a whole drugstore haul. And it's like, this is the kind of culture that YouTube breeds. And I do it. Definitely. You know, I've become a shopaholic even more since YouTube. And it's just like 
sometimes I wish there are more people like Light by Coco, who I love, who encourage a more healthy kind of living. And I mean, I'm sure there are. I want to explore more like minimalists and, you know, people who are into like decluttering and things like that, because I just think it's very unhealthy to be focused on so much material things. Like there's nothing wrong with buying nice things for yourself, but when it becomes excessive and when it becomes like you can't go into a store without buying a bunch of crap, like, you know, it becomes a little weird. And I think YouTube definitely breeds that. I think most people watching this would agree. Okay, number five, uh, multi-channel networks and sponsor spammers. So I did a whole video on my experience with my multi-channel network and I'm not saying like that it's all bad, that it's a horrible thing or anything like that, but I'm more talking about like the people who email me constantly or spam my YouTube messages or even my comments sometimes asking me to join their network. Same thing with sponsors. I get, you know, people who want to sponsor me or send me product and like I try to respond to everybody uh, and be professional and at least say like, no, I don't think it's a good fit for my channel. But there's been times when like, you know, it slipped my mind or whatever and they'll like keep emailing me like multiple times it's like dude like take the hint or I'll say no and they keep like coming back with like counter offers okay well how about like 25 more bucks how about 50 more bucks it's like no I'm not going to like sell your freaking kitchen gadget on my beauty channel like I don't care how much money you give me and I don't know it's just really the wrong approach for these companies I don't know like I don't know and then also with companies too a lot of people I notice are like the most sketchy representatives from the company. Like, do you choose the like 16 year old kid in high school to do these PR emails? Because some companies are really, really professional and other ones are like, you can tell that they barely speak English, um, which I'm not like saying that in a discriminatory way. I'm just saying like, they can't type out coherent sentences and you're like, you want me to do a business deal with you? Like, I don't think so, bro. Number six, the freaking thumbs down button. Like, I don't even understand why this is a thing. It really annoys me to no end. And I noticed the other day that Pinterest has that now too. It has a dislike button and it really kind of takes me off because I just think, okay, if you don't like something, click out of it or just, you know, ignore it. Pretend you never saw it. Don't subscribe to that person. Don't like it. Just move along. Why do you have to like rub it in that you don't like it? Even Facebook doesn't have a, a dislike button. You know what I mean? I don't know. For me, it's just, it's so, it's just bad. And I think it's bad karma. I think if you use that button, I think it will come back to you because like I said, I've said this a zillion times. The only time I've, I've thumbs down like a hand, handful, a very small handful of videos before. And it's because they've been like racist or sexist or homophobic or something like hateful, like literally saying like, I hate gay people. I hate black people. Like, yes, I'm going to thumbs that down. You know what I mean? But like, if you're just like, oh, my, her makeup is ugly or, you know, she kind of sounds annoying. Like, why would you, you know, like thumbs down that? Because even the creators that I really don't think are necessarily good people, I'm not going to lie. There are some of those that I think exist. Even they, like, I know that they work hard. You know, YouTube isn't easy. I think there's a misconception that like putting up a video is just like, oh, let me just throw this up. It's not easy. It takes a lot of time, a lot of space in your home. If you guys could see my room right now, I have all these lights up and it's like very cluttering and stressful. Um, you know, the time and taking to film this, I'm gonna take at least an hour or two to edit this, then another hour or two to upload it, and then another hour or two to like optimize it. You know, like it's a lot of work and a lot of time. Why would I ever be like, just like throw it in your face that like your hard work didn't pay off? You know what I mean? It's just very mean. It's There's nothing, nothing good or constructive about it. Okay, number seven, I don't really know if this like, I don't know, this is like kind of random, but this is something that I've been noticing a lot in channels that I've been watching for a long time. Like it'll start with a girl and you get like kind of like build a relationship with the girl, you know, like the main, the, the vlogger, and then she'll get a boyfriend. Okay, and then she introduces her boyfriend to the channel. Okay, that's cool. And then he's in every video, like every single one. And it's like, I don't know. It's, it's different if it's like a vlog channel and they live together or something because it's kind of hard to, you know, avoid and, um, you know, that's part of her life or whatever. But like, there are some YouTubers out there who literally like, they'll be in their beauty videos. They'll be like in every post, they'll start to like take up, take over the vlog. Like they'll be vlogging for her and stuff. And like, I don't know, I kind of have like a love hate relationship with that because I think if I ever get married or something like that, like, and I'm still doing YouTube, I'd probably want my husband to like be involved. But like, I don't know. I just think sometimes you see personalities change because of that and it becomes like 
the boyfriend and girlfriend channel and not like this girl that I liked. I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't know. I just noticed this with like quite a few of my favorite YouTubers or like not favorite, but just people that I've watched over the years. And I'm just like, I don't get it. Like, are you that insecure that you can't even like film on your own anymore? Like, I don't know. It's kind of weird and I don't really like it. Number eight, inconsistency, especially when it's being rewarded. Like, and I mean inconsistency with quality or definitely with how often you upload. Here's what I mean by being rewarded. If you're a small channel like myself or even smaller, you know, you probably have other um, things going on in your life. You know, I was I just graduated school. I was in college most of my YouTube career and I have a job. You know, I run a business and I work at an internship. So I'm busy. You know, most people work full time or have school full time or, you know, whatever. Um, most of us aren't making a full time income off of YouTube alone. So it's kind of understandable to be a little inconsistent with your schedule. And what I mean by like inconsistency, inconsistency being rewarded are like these huge YouTubers with like hundreds of thousands and millions of subscribers who upload like maybe once a week or maybe once a month. And then they get sent on all these like trips paid for by companies. And, you know, obviously they're making the money from the ads and stuff from people watching. And it's just like, I don't feel like they take their subscribers um, seriously and don't really appreciate them and stuff like that. And I just don't think it's fair. Obviously there's nothing you can do about it. Like, and if subscribers are still watching, you know, then what can you do? But I just think, you know, if I had the freedom to just do YouTube, like this was my sole income and I was making the kinds of money that some of these girls were making, I swear, I feel like I would put out a video at least every other day. Like there's no excuse. I did every other day uploads in, in uh, what was it? February, I think. And I had school, I had full-time school and work and my business and I still did every other day uploads. And like, it was pretty hard, but if this, if that was my only job, there's no way that I wouldn't do that. You know what I mean? And have like amazing quality too. Like, I don't know, I just don't understand it. I don't think it's fair. Number nine is shady, like hate comments. <laughs> okay, and obviously hate comments in general too, but like the ones that are just like, you're ugly, you suck, I hope you die. Like, I just like, I don't even take them serious anymore because it's just like, almost comical at this point like I've built up such a thick skin that it's like you're stupid but the ones that really get under my skin are the ones who are from subscribers like the ones that are like oh yeah you look really pretty but your eyebrows look kind of crazy or like you know like the the slight shade or like um I don't know like the, they don't even bother me so much for the makeup anymore because I don't even care like yeah sometimes I forget to tweeze my eyebrows before I film a makeup tutorial and it looks crazy whatever. Sometimes I get like stuff in my hair throughout the video and I'm not going to refilm a video because I have a little piece of fuzz. I have black hair so you can see lots of stuff. Um, or, you know, stuff like that. But like, it kind of hurts me when it's my personal life. Like, you know, just like talking about like my dating life or something. That's just like slight shade, like very slight. Like, was she being mean or not? Do you know what I mean? And this has been happening a lot. So... It's annoying because it's like I don't want to like not like you because I know that you watch all my videos but why are you like slow slightly shading me slightly insulting me you know what I mean and then the last thing is sponsorships now this is kind of two-tiered so number one I hate um, people who are kind of like jealous over sponsorships and hateful over sponsorships because hey let's face it like YouTube gets a lot of companies, a lot of exposure. I think it's only fair that people get paid for basically being advertisements for companies. Um, that's just my personal belief. I don't see anything wrong with sponsorships as long as you are honest about it and let people know, hey, you know, I'm being paid to make this video and you legally have to either verbally say it or put it in the description box. I don't, I, don't, I can't think of a time that I've ever like honestly not put that in there. Um, so yeah, I, I think personally I'm pro sponsorships, you know, definitely don't do every single video. You have to keep it at a minimum. I do one every like eight to 10 videos. I don't think that's that crazy. It's not enough. Like I said, to be a full-time income, it's nothing crazy. So there's that. So I don't like it when people are like, oh my gosh, another sponsored video. Like, yeah, the last one I did was 10 videos ago. That was like two months ago, you know? And then I also hate shady sponsorships. Like I said, like, you know, people who are just, either don't disclose or, um, you know, just you can tell they don't really like it and they're just doing it for the money. And now that Famebit is out, um, 
I have a video on Fanbit if you want. I can link it down below. It's a platform that helps you find sponsorships. You see the, the things that are up, like a lot of the products that are being kind of um, shopped around YouTube, I guess, or like pushed on YouTubers. And so like instantly now I'll be like, oh yeah, I saw that on Fanbit the other day. And like this person, you know, will be doing it. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with sponsorships, but you can just tell when it's fake and like you can tell when it's just for the money. And I don't know, that just really bothers me because I, you know, the sponsorships that I do, and, and by the way, sponsored means that you're being paid for the video. I think a lot of people think sponsored means you got sent the product because people have been, people have accused me of not disclosing a sponsored video before because um, I got this, the product for free. That does not mean a sponsored video if you look it up in like the FTC and all of that. I do try to tell you guys, hey, I got sent this product. Sometimes I forget. I have such a huge makeup collection. Honestly, I don't even know, like, this thing. Daily brush cleaner. Did I buy this or did it get sent to me? To be honest, I can't remember. It's from Sephora, so I definitely bought it because Sephora don't get send me crap. But you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. There's so much stuff. Like, I don't even remember where I got half of it. Um, but if it's sponsored and I was PayPal'd an amount of money, then you have to disclose. So anyway, so that was the 10 things I hate about YouTube tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I wasn't trying to be overly negative. I just think these are things that a lot of you guys can probably relate to. Um, if you do, don't have a channel or anything like that, or don't want to film this video, leave me some things that you hate in the comments down below, because I would love to see this. And definitely do this video if you're interested in it. I will tag some of you guys down below as well, and I will see you next time. Bye!